Good morning. It's a Sabbath again and I get guilt all the time. <laughs> eh, and I'm feared that I'm going to get my hands cut off when I reveal what I revealed this morning. It involves this woman. <laughs> eh, and I need to have a confession to make. first <laughs> I used to play rugby uh, for Blackheath and <laughs> very typically yeah night I scored at the disco <laughs> uh, and I woke up with a beautiful looking woman who's just like Adele <laughs> who's singing that song but because I was sober on the Sabbath when I woke up <laughs> the relationship ended very quickly you must not tell anybody that while my divorce proceedings are still proceeding. <laughs> yeah, so keep that to yourself. The rest of it, I want you to talk about for my own safety. <laughs> okay? And to retain my hands. <laughs> okay, right then. Eh, where can we start? Well, I thought this morning when I woke up that <laughs> I had wasted a day yesterday and that I'd better get right to the hub of the war reparations payments. So I entered on company check the words Rothschild and 1945 and let's see what happened it is really spooky yeah especially when it's the Sabbath <laughs> the Rothschilds did not opt for Christianity by the way 1945 but they run it as a subsidiary So Rothschild 1945 may take a bit of time because you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath. <laughs> right then. Oh, here we go. Only four hits. So I was a bit disappointed with that and I thought I might get into the treaties that were beyond Versailles or whatever the fudge was at the end of World War Two. But I get another Vladimir. Oh no, this is not the same as I got when I ran it this morning <laughs> uh, on the other computer which did not crash before I got what I got so I got four hits the first time maybe it was Rothschild 1946 because <laughs> remember that Armistice Day is very late in the year for Freemasonic numbers reasons 11-11 <laughs> Okay, so let's try again. It's very, it's very difficult to focus on their crimes when you have guilt of the magnitude of, <laughs> of what I get as a lapsed Catholic and a former altar boy. <laughs> right then. So, Rothschild. That takes you to Vladimir Levy de Rothschild, which is a multinational scandal that I will look into when we get to Monday. <laughs> Rothschild 1946 A little bit of time to get the coffers in Geneva prepared. This is the one. That's the words of a song somewhere. Right then, here we go. So, Miss Judith Rothschild, the Punch and Judy joke <laughs> about ending the war in the Holy Lands by murdering after you get the man drunk. <laughs> yeah, 
uh, in the bed. Yeah? So you behead the man who's the head of the vicious army who's fighting against the Jewish nation and that becomes the Punch and Judy joke. The next name is a Vizier Rothschild uh, and I thought that that was registered in Woolwich WC1H9EH and it got me excited because Blackheath Rugby Club's right next to them. <laughs> uh, and uh, right then, but the things that I found on Nathaniel de Rothschild's transcript were the things that got me into the guilt stream. <laughs> That's guilt in a gold context. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is Nathaniel de Rothschild, 904812985, and this is the British company check page. His registered address is 1040 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York, 128, USA. That's the uh, Empire State, by the way. <laughs> right then. Uh, and George W. Bush <laughs> started his life as a Christian preacher but ended it as a Lubavitcher. It's not ended yet, it will come soon and he is quaking in fear because all of his scams are being revealed, even on the Sabbath. <laughs> right then, uh, so I think what I did next was to click on directors. Let's uh, do that and see which celebrities we find. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right then. St. James's Place, ah, this is the one. <laughs> it's not actually the one. It's about 30 or 40 vicious, vicious Ponzi schemes. <laughs> yeah, that are sins even on a Sunday, even in New York. <laughs> okay, uh, and they are really really massive because when you hit that structure button it takes you into stock market scams the like of I have never seen before <laughs> yeah but I'm not allowed to know whether or not I should be allowed to grow a beard and to have this hairy thing above my upper lip because I don't understand <laughs> the new gods' rules okay and I don't give a monkeys about the new gods' rules because all of them are strictly for profit <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> right then, I'm working for the big auditor in the skies and he's going to get the better of them really soon, or she, or them. I'm too simple to know. Right then, so shall we look at the directors and then look at the shocking structure of St. James's <laughs> in London? Okay, Charles Wood. <laughs> That's Charles Wood. <laughs> Lord Nathaniel Charles Jacob Rothschild. Lord William Rees Mogg. <laughs> Politicians and profiteers all. Anthony Stafford Dyche. Ah. <laughs> Mr. David Charles Bellamy. <laughs> My best man on the river is called Gavin Brown <laughs> and his nickname is Kipper, the Yom Kipper joke. <laughs> the other mate of mine who rows the boat on Mr. Muller, no, sorry, Miller, <laughs> private estate which is the most elite fishery in the world uh, and they used to let me have a go for free and bring people in from New Zealand and let them fish for free and we had the biblical floods as a result. The Millers will not let me talk to them about what's on my website. And if you look at his dad's video on getting the numbers down, you'll know what the Miller affiliation is to the working man, who all of the Gillies are. <laughs> Thank you to the females in the Gillies families who used to be my mentors and my, <laughs> yeah, and my best friends in life. Yeah, they are very spirited people and I now understand why their nickname was Puzzle because everything that happens in this world is totally twisted and entirely for profit and none of the profits
come back to the working man at the end of the day. Okay, so let's have a look at David Charles Bellamy. Yeah, the head gilly, it's a nickname. Okay, I'm giving nothing away on the real ID because they are, tend to get ballistic and they are much more accomplished in drunken battles than I am. Okay, here we go. Right then. <laughs> what I want to show you first, just in case I get short of time or I get diverted into my own sins again, <laughs> uh, I want to show you the thickened structure of this. Okay, so go to David Charles Be Bellamy. Let's remind ourselves who David Charles Be Bellamy is in popular ch culture. Okay, and he's, he's registered at Lydia Arb Millicent Swindon. That's a milli, which means a tiny fraction of a cent. <laughs> yeah, Lydi Lydia is the joke about the woman who worked with the Marx Brothers with the tattoos all over her body yeah and it's really simple to explain how Adele comes into it later on okay I'm trying to get the Google images up of David Bellamy in popular culture there he is <laughs> yeah he looks a wee bit like the man I was focusing on yesterday uh, and he looks a wee bit like Abraham in the Christian Bible. <laughs> That's the very early part of the Christian Bible where it focused on all of the Jewish nations and where all the twelve tribes went. Okay, That's David Bellamy. <laughs> That's the cover for the Bellamy on the uh, Rothschilds interlocks by the way. <laughs> right then. Uh, uh, so what are the Rothschilds interlocks? There we go. So, registered address for David Charles Bellamy, company number 908-44-2864, is Stones, <laughs> and Stone 35 Stone Lane, Lydia Road, that's Lydiard Millicent, comma, Swindon. Do you get it? Everything is a financial services joke. And this one is a naturalist like the Rothschild that was killed because he loved the zebras and ripping the pyjamas off in the world history joke. Okay, Swindon, Wiltshire. That's where Port and Down is. That's where all of the training camps for our troops are, where they get led into their deaths in the uniform by these bastards in financial services. Oh, sorry, it's Sunday. Right then, uh, <laughs> structure, maybe we've clicked on that already, but this is the bit I want you to register before my batteries fail me. And before I go to the church, where we're on the fourth or fifth priest, no, it's maybe sixth or seventh priest, and some of them have been on rehab, and all of them are sainting the villains in the Rothschilds interlocks. St. James's Place. Now, this is about avarice. <laughs> yeah, and I want you to know that I want no part of it, but I've got large savings <laughs> and I could set up a company for myself and we could make money for free using this template. <laughs> okay, St. James's Place Wealth Management Group PLC issued share capital 95 million 102 million returned as equity on that okay it's got two owners st james's place administration that have nothing <laughs> and st james's place plc that have everything and it's green for go can you imagine what they might use that for right then and this is only one of dozens like the chapters in the Bible 66 
in most denominations. Okay, St. James's Place administration, number of shares at value. So St. James's Place administration actually has a share. They bought one for a penny. <laughs> yeah, they bought one for a penny. And as a ethical issue now, I only put pennies into the collection box at all of the denominations I go. But God bless the Jehovah's, you get to talk to them for free. <laughs> okay, right then. St. James's Place PLC, on the other hand, that's the green bit, <laughs> yeah, invested in 9,546,513,463 shares at a penny a time, <laughs> which gives them, uh, and if you take that away, I don't know how many pounds that is <laughs> but it is quite stunning that this is the penny stock concept that they laugh about all of the time <laughs> yeah and the Ponzi shelf and the laundering vent that is in conservative blue and in St James's place and you'll see how sinister that becomes as we scan down for minute after minute through this endless list. This is just David Bellamy. This is not the Rothschilds. <laughs> it is actually. Uh, I think it's Nathan Jacob, born in 1946, which is why we got the hit. <laughs> okay, uh, so St. James's Place, wealth management, same story, but this time it's the company that does not have, that only has the one pence investment <laughs> in the one at the top. Okay, St. James's Place, Wealth Management, PCIS Limited, they've got massive holdings in this one uh, and they've issued 50,000 shares at a pound a piece. <laughs> yeah, and it's lost money. This could be a pension fund. <laughs> okay. Here we've got, oh, this one's really lost a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, uh, latest shareholder equity is 8 million for the 20 million that was invested in it. And this has got an orange grouping <laughs> involved in its ownership. One share at a pound bought by uh, St. James's Place Admin Limited. That's coloured blue. <laughs> Yeah, that's coloured blue. Let's have a look now. We'll get closer up. Okay. <laughs> that's coloured blue. They bought one share at a pound. <laughs> yeah, they're the administration. And St James's Place Wealth Management Group PLC are in this one allowed to pretend that they're the only profiteers. And we've got others <laughs> that are they're very reluctant to disclose at this stage. Anyway, keep going down. It gets really, really low. St. James's Place admin, one at one pound. St. James's Place wealth management, 29,999,999 at a pound. Ownership, 150%. <laughs> one has no idea who their auditors are but they may be struck in blind in the biblical revenge attacks. <laughs> okay, other, <laughs> less than 1%. No ID for reputational reasons. Okay, St. James's Place, PLC. Oh, they're sharing it. Oh, this must be a pension fund too. And guess who's running it? HBOS Insurance and Investment Group Limited. That's the insurance that is linked to Intel and that is HBOS that is linked to the Bank of Scotland, the RBS, the Lloyds Banking Group and all of the people who get the corporate orders that they're not allowed to sign petitions on the impoverishment of the ordinary people by the big banks. <laughs> okay, so latest shareholders equity figure 906 million 
from the 74 million that they released. They're doing okay, but that is the HBOS toxic debt pool, and that <laughs> just gets swallowed up because it's hundreds of trillions of pounds now. HBOS Insurance and Investment Group 286 million shares at 15 pence Ownership Percentage 57.52 The others own 42.48 which adds up to only 100% Yeah, right then St James's Place UK PLC uh, it's too complicated. Yet yeah, this is another success story, this time for the Green Group, I think. St James's Place Wealth Management. <laughs> yeah, issued 110 millions worth, now have an equity value of 639. It's doing okay, like the lumberjacks at the Bank of England. <laughs> okay, uh, issued share capital, 2 million, latest shareholders, equity figure 20 million 10% <laughs> rise that's really good in today's uh, statistics but none of it goes to the ordinary savers <laughs> okay St James's Place Wealth Management Group Limited let's keep going down because it's the same story oh some of them <laughs> have no value at all I don't know if they get remunerated for loss of money by the big banks that are in that toxic debt pool but I would not be surprised at all the latest shareholders equity for this one is Zippo and they issued £100 worth of shares ok uh, and only they St James's Place Wealth Management Group are involved in that one <laughs> ok <laughs> and that's why most some of them are registered in New York for their street address Okay, that's not Bellamy, that's the big bosses in the Rothschild dynasty. Issued share capital, 12 million. Latest shareholders equity figure, Zippo. That must be a pension fund. <laughs> right then, St James's Place nominees. Only one owner, 100 shares at a quid. <laughs> yeah, latest shareholders equity figure, Zippo. That will be the declaration that they make in the four of the tax declarations Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. <laughs> uh, and that may be a joke about the Queen. St James's Place Foundation. No shareholders at all on this one. This must be a genuine mafia operation like everything we saw for the Maria jokes yesterday no shareholders breakdown available that's the <laughs> royal institution what was it uh, it's could be confused with the ira but chatham house is the royal institute for international affairs run by queenie <laughs> okay i'll keep going down and i'll just read off the names and show you the graphs okay latest shareholders equity minus 801 zero five four they have been given bad financial advice and they get remunerated by that for that now <laughs> and we've not heard much in the news now since I stopped taking Rupert Murdoch's lies <laughs> uh, about the rating agencies and the insolvency of all of our governments and how much they have to pay to the bastards that steal from the governments <laughs> yeah to fund those vicious financial empires that's the rating agencies that rate the magnitude of the lies that we are told about how financial services work and whether or not it's a safe investment all of them are totally for profit and they work on both sides of the Atlantic and right into the maid <sighs> right then Oh, latest equity minus 55 million <laughs> issued share capital 7 million <laughs> it's a bit floppy 
right then yeah so we go on and on and on and on <laughs> yeah on and on and on and on and at the bottom we get a look <laughs> very briefly for reputational reasons at the ah oh, this one's a bit shocking <laughs> we go on and on and on and on until we get to St James's Court Corporate Nominee Limited it's doing okay it issued two quid in share capital two shares at one pound <laughs> yeah it's now got in its equity for its really poor and hard working employees twelve thousand pounds at the bank as its equity value do you know who its really poor owners are? Geoffrey Arnold Schindler and John Philip Laidlaw. I don't think that will be the Laidlaws <laughs> of Jether. It's more likely to be the Laidlers of Austria. Two shares at a pound. <laughs> Ordinary people. Yeah slight change in the spelling since the genocide <laughs> right then Jeremy Holton and company heritage keeper wealth management that's not the hermitage museum in Russia where they have all of the jokes about the ownership of Russia <laughs> yeah 154 shares at a quid a piece <laughs> yeah and it's worth nothing now St James's Place Partnership <laughs> yeah this one seems to be a balanced deal <laughs> okay eh, only one owner declared the other buys one share at 5p a throw <laughs> okay and that's the administrators who Bellamy's in <laughs> right then this is boring the colour pictures might keep your attention <laughs> yeah and please note that there are a lot of them <laughs> and they're in sectarian celtic green and rangers blue but david murray's not in the story yet to my knowledge <laughs> and he would have difficulty getting in and out of the boat at the most elite salmon fishery because we got Bathy's legs off. <laughs> Eat oh! <laughs> St James's Place Investment PLC 334 million at 25p. <laughs> yeah, breaking out kind of even as they declare some statistics. SJPC7 Limited. Oh, here we go with the extreme right winger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Zippo, nothing to declare. And all of it, I'm doing this on a Sunday. <laughs> one share at one at 10p, 100% ownership, St. James's Place, Investments PLC, Public Limited Company. They are liable for nothing. Right then, and the LLP is even more sinister. We've still got a long way to go down. Shall I attenuate the story and you can look it up for yourself? No, let's just show you the colours. <laughs> Keep your attention. Issued share capital 202. <laughs> Presses 97 Limited. <laughs> all the numbers are the same in all the same stories. <laughs> Fuck. Forty one million <laughs> not much left. St James's Place Investments PLC Oh International Assurance Marketing Limited <laughs> Issued Share Capital one hundred and one only eighteen grand in the red <laughs> eh, and the red zone joke about their battlefields and the places that they brutalise is really sick, like the whiteboards concept. 
SJP Name Company. <laughs> it's really secretive. Yeah. It might be owned by a Royal Highness. Coleman. He's the anti-Semitic victim. <laughs> okay. That's Schindler further up the list. St James's Place Group Limited. <laughs> Breaking even. <laughs> On the quiet. Oh, no colours. <laughs> Let's just speed to the bottom. Okay, here's the group structure. The ultimate parent company is St James's Place Wealth Management Group PLC. St James's Place PLC. <laughs> Subsidiaries. St P Unit Trusts. They don't pay tax, by the way. <laughs> Management Services. St James's Place PCP Limited. St James's Place International Insurance Group. SJP. Aesop's Fables Trustees Limited yeah they can tell you any story they like and get away with it because there is no regulation that's Margaret Hodge's role in life she used to be an Oppenheimer St James's Place Wealth Management St James's Place Properties Limited all oh, real estate scams <laughs> yeah best not talk about that on the Sabbath yeah cause the Christian churches are still built on Queenie's territory and they're ever so envious about what that might bring them in future scams like these St James's Place Acquisition Services Limited St James's Place Partnership Services Limited St James's Place International Distribution that's in the, in the swim that's called laundering St James's Place Corporate Secretary Limited, St James's Place UK PLC, St James's Place Wealth Management PLC, <laughs> all of them with independent company numbers, as if it was not run by the same Mafia members. <laughs> okay, Ultimate Parent Company, St James's Place PLC, with two inverted commas. <laughs> St James's Place, which makes it difficult to find. St James's Place Wealth Management Ultimate Parent There's many, many Ultimate Parent Companies That could be bigamy <laughs> Yeah, like you get in the Royal Household all of the time Yeah, and in Queen Victoria's case It cost our country its central bank Which is not on this list But owned by the same people Ah, <laughs> oh. oh. Right then, Anglia Financial, oh we've got little companies that I've never heard of yet, Anglia Financial, PFP Time Limited, Chapman Hunter Group Limited, LP Holdco Limited, that's Ponzi Shelves, St James's Place, Client Solutions Limited, <laughs> oh, and on, and there's the Aesop one again. So, let's find the Bellamy character <laughs> yeah because it interlocks with Adele <laughs> and the Adele name in the interlocks and in the secretarial services is quite vicious because her <laughs> her surname is tapping <laughs> yeah to be tapped hands and feet <laughs> and everything that happens in the next illegitimate 2000 years with the saints names that never actually exist <coughs> tapping Adele tapping <laughs> this is what you get just in case my batteries run out when you look for Adele tapping on the internet <laughs> ok because uh, Adele tapping interlocks with Bellamy as a slave to the financial services and world owners that are the Rothschilds okay <laughs> and the next image is of something along those lines <laughs> it may freeze my computer that's David Bellamy not Bellamy the Gilly <laughs> on the most exclusive elite in, be in the world run by the Millers who are entirely fascists as the Miller name would supply but in social services in my hometown 
there is a lovely female mirror, miller and they have treated me really gently and they have given me upbeat reports because I'm revealing why none of the public sector workers like Miss Miller gets a pay rise for seven years back to back. This is Paul Gascoigne who interlocks the Gascoigne part of his name with David Bellamy in the Rothschilds Mafia Network. <laughs> okay, that's why Gascoigne is picked for greatness. Like many of the Catholic priests we've had, he's been on rehab for ages. <laughs> yeah, some of the pa Catholic priests have passed on because they are doing an evil job for the Rothschilds. That's Mayor, so, sorry, that's Kalman Rothschild, the first of the Rothschilds to meet the Pope who was allowed to kiss the ring on his finger and did not have to get down at his feet like the biblical jokes and all of the jokes about the royal princesses who are involved in the massive frauds and the terror events now. Yeah, that's Fergie kissing the feet. Yeah, all of that appears in the media as covers. Yeah, and this one was alleged to have been having an affair with the uh, Duchess of Roxburgh, like the Jeffreys, who are on the interlocks <laughs> to Bellamy. <laughs> yeah. Are you getting the picture? The whole of our media and every one of our sporting events is a cover for the crimes of the world owners. And I did not know that Gaza wore the Christian cross. <laughs> He's on rehab and he may have been either attacked <laughs> or may have tried to take his life in a pinstripe suit because everything that he pretends to be when he's a spirited football player it's just the same as David Beckham the profiteer and they join the joker sector ironically Gascoigne is being persecuted and prosecuted for tax evasion by the polis that run the world ownership as a mafia scam yeah, he's an ordinary working Geordie and I know that they have a conscience because many of them come and talk to me in ordinary working terms now and I even met a nurse the other day and this is really sad because of my sins on a Sunday but she was in uniform with a skirt on and I said oh I thought they had banned the skirt because everybody loves a nurse in uniform and she said yet I work in the skirt only if you can afford private health care <laughs> yet when I go back to the local borders hospital I have to work in trousers because it's less stimulating for the public <laughs> okay so you can get a piece of the action in private health care and nurses in those lovely old-fashioned uniforms if you go private <laughs> And you invest in the shares with any of these people. Yeah. <laughs> right then. That is a very, very risky thing to do. Like talking about avarice on the Sabbath. <laughs> right then. Let's keep going forward. Because I've got an off the main plot line. Oh. <laughs> okay. So Adele tapping. <laughs> yeah. We go back to my one true love in the Blackheath region <laughs> yeah, but you've not to talk about that please do not talk about that okay <laughs> uh, and I was so drunk that I don't know what happened and I scuttled off really quickly because she was really beautiful and I get shy about talking to beautiful women unless she's Pippa Middleton <laughs> right then uh, oh sorry that's not what I got first time and what I got first time is really scary in a religious context <laughs> Right then, this is what I got. That one. <laughs> Adele tapping. And when you click on that for the first time on the other computer, you get a really scary advert. Let's see if it happens again. Because the advert that is associated with this woman, who's in a healthcare charity scam, is associated with investing in Sharia banks. Because Islam think that avarice, avarice should not happen on any day of the week which is why all of the Islamic brothers are poor 
and beheaded <laughs> okay because they're blasphemous and if they want to keep some savings it's a sin <laughs> right then I doubt that we'll get that ad again but if we do it will be a real bonus <laughs> to my campaign to try and reveal how twisted world ownership is <laughs> visit page right then I hope we get the same ad <laughs> so her name is tapping EFT tapping for good and her name is Adele Ramsharan can you see the Islamic link coming in and why the Islamic ad came up the first time I think Intel are savvy enough not to allow me to play it again <laughs> in the public eye oh please <laughs> please an ad please give us an ad <laughs> her cover up is 7 minutes long the ad only lasts oh are we going to get an ad so that's the Sharia banks <laughs> registered as you might have guessed in the UK oh please give us the ad <laughs> that's Sharia and Sunni <laughs> yeah Sunni and the Shiite <laughs> this has changed my life proper TV on one of these shows like the walking dead I'm gonna find me some walkers all friends got talent. Go into explode just all Game of Thrones. So I'm sorry, that is not the same ad. <laughs> Are we getting an ad from the Sky Empire? <laughs> and that could be Luther Blissett Blissett <laughs> that played for England. Do you get it, Luther? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's not go there because it's the Sabbath. And he played for Elton John in Watford. <laughs> right then. Where uh, Petty France is. <laughs> oh, I'm getting deeply into all of the previous sins. Right then. Uh, sorry, I've lost my track of where we were in looking for... Oh, it was the woman that is Adele on the interlocks so what we need to do is to go back to Bellamy <laughs> and go back to the top of his transcript ok so we've gone through all of the stock market scams in almost all of them I'm going to go to the top really quickly because I've only got 50 minutes to make this entire video on the Sabbath <laughs> yeah and I have not yet found my two pennies that I need to put on the collection plate God bless the Jehovah's for your financial prudence <laughs> my wife used to tell me that a certain percentage of their income had to be given to New York almost directly <laughs> but I do not trust what my wife says anymore ok right then so <laughs> directors this is David Charles Bellamy registered at the Millicent place <laughs> in Lydia Road Swindon, Wiltshire where the armies get trained to be massacred directors this time yep we've seen the structure and it is quite scary and fraudulent <laughs> Adele Tapping is a director and a secretary on the listing <laughs> with gas coin <laughs> Are you getting the picture? And I real feel really sorry for the Duchess of Roxburgh, the first one, <laughs> who I think is a goldsmith or one of the massive financial dynasties, which she gets, why she gets picked for the job. But she is a really charming person. <laughs> and her children were married off to the Aitkins, who are the Beaver Brooks and their ballot relations <laughs> and I've not seen the Duke at a service but my neighbour <laughs> yeah my neighbour is insisted that he was at the uh, the place the beautiful elite church in Scotland 
directors for David Bellamy yet he does worship in the Christian denominations even although one of his great grandpa's missuses was Winston Churchill's cousin and she's a Jewess <laughs> yeah, which means that they probably have a synagogue under the castle okay so here we've got the interlocks there's Mr. St Stuart Ian Stuart Gascoigne interlocked with David Charles Bellamy on those massive financial services stock owning issue the stocks and shares to your friends joke out of the non-existent St James's place <laughs> yeah non-existent yeah a lot of the shareholdings are non-existent investments many of them are just scams and it allows you to issue money to your elite friends and then when you get bad advice and you get into something like minus 50 million in the red you're able to claim litigation for that bad advice which is why the man in all of the films <laughs> yeah about Notting Hill I forget what his name is he's the love interest in almost all of them he's on these interlocks I forget his name <laughs> Hugh Grant yeah <laughs> yeah all of them interlock with Lord Nathaniel Charles Jacob Rothschild who's registered in New York Gupta yeah the empire upon which Mr James Robert Crosby the Wilsons the Nicholsons like my old boss at uh, Otago University she's now the pro vice chancellor which means she talks up the might of their institution to the students and then charges their fees relentlessly that's Helen Nicholson from Bristol <laughs> yeah there is the Duke of Wellington right next door to another fraudster yeah that's the Dukes of Wellington that got the central bank from the uh, democracy in 1815 not many people know that Gordon Bowden tells you about Wellesley Wood in the four corners scams by the Australians <laughs> yeah the slaves to empire <laughs> yeah Valerian a joke about the religious involvement since the Roman court was Jewish <laughs> Sir Mark Aubrey Weinberg the Honourable Clive Patrick that could be sectarian Gibson <laughs> right honourable oh and we've got a Stevenson <laughs> without the ball for hyphen <laughs> Miss Jane Michelle Meacham what they're doing here is putting a lot of the wives in and that could be the lovely woman <laughs> from Blackheath I will never know and I wish I had the front in those days to talk openly to beautiful women <laughs> okay right then St James's Place reassurance yeah you can be remunerated for any bad advice you are given in this sector look how far down the page we have to go until we see how low they stoop <laughs> Croft David Charles Bellamy on every one of these interlocks because he's the man that we're tracking down oh he's working with the Lama God <laughs> Hackwood Secretaries, St James's Place, Administration Limited. Swifted Corporations Limited. Ian Stewart Gascoigne. Hornby's <laughs> Mario Durso I don't get it <laughs> Morris Edward Hatch the rabbit linkage Vivian Paul Basil get <laughs> yeah 
might be cross-gender like Mrs. Simpson. <laughs> we have no way of knowing. Right next door to the Duke of Wellington. <laughs> Joan Dawson, Sir James Robert Crosby. Okay, it's getting repetitive. I think I should take you to Lord Nathaniel Charles Jacob and show you the real boardrooms. <laughs> okay, because these are just the puppets and the media cover up and the gillies on the junction pool that work for Mr. Miller and pretends that he has fallen out with the Duke of Roxburgh over the rental charges for the little wooden hut. <laughs> and the name of the innocent Duchess <laughs> is uh, Lady Jane and the American one who's going to be dispossessed of everything that she owns and the younger children might be take ownership of, she gets sent back to America where the Pilgrim Fathers went. <laughs> and I don't know whether or not they'll sink her ship, but her great great granny that was the Jewess launched the Mauritania. <laughs> okay, I'm getting into gossip and I should not do that on the Sabbath because I might get my hands cut off and I'll be unable to hold my camera up. Oh no, this is not the same registration as we found for the Rothschild before in New York. It's 14 St. James's Place. <laughs> the directors that interlock with him are going to be immense. <laughs> okay, uh, and let me just close on what we found when we went to Rothschild in 1946 again. Let's just see. Oh, <laughs> this is powerful. Five Arrows Investments Limited. That's right next door to the Five Arrows pub that all my rugby playing mates used to drink in out of Aylesbury Rugby Club. Some of them went to be coaches, professional coaches, <laughs> in Liverpool where the slaving empire is run from, Rothschild Wadsden Limited, the Roth J. Rothschild Name Company Limited, CA Participation Ventures Limited, Five Arrows Limited, Lower Black Grove Farm Limited, J. Rothschild Services Limited, Colfax Group PLC, Jacob Rothschild and Partners Limited, Ikersan Limited, the Rothschild Foundation, Clifton Nurseries Limited, Bristol, like Helen Nicholson, the prof. <laughs> Clifton Nurseries Holdings Limited Future of Russia Foundation Now we're getting nearer the hub <laughs> J. Rothschild Capital Management Limited Rothschild Foundation Hanadiv Europe <laughs> Yeah, that's Jerusalem 